Hello everybody. In this Python tutorial, we're going to go over the geometric mean and the geometric mean rate of return. The geometric mean is the nth root of the product of n numbers. The geometric mean is often used in financial calculations that look at returns over time and other growth figures such as population growth. Here we have an example of where you might use a form of the geometric mean and specifically you would use the geometric mean rate of return. So let's say that you start with a thousand dollars and in year one you get a hundred percent return. So now you have two thousand dollars but then in year two you lose fifty percent. So now you're back to one thousand dollars. An arithmetic mean shows a twenty-five percent return which is the hundred percent plus the negative 50% divided by two. But we know that that is not the case because we started with $1,000 and we ended with $1,000. So the actual percent return is zero. This is a case where you would want to use a form of the geometric mean, specifically the geometric mean rate of return. And we will go over how to create a function to return the geometric mean rate of return. But first things first, let's go over how to calculate a simple geometric mean. The first thing we want to do is import the SciPy module. And along with that, we want to import the stats part of that module as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and type out import scipy.stats. Next, let's create a variable for our geometric mean. We'll call it gm for geometric mean. Let's access our SciPy module access the stats, and then we're going to access mstats, and then we're going to access the geometric mean function. Then inside the round brackets, let's create a list of three numbers, 5, 10, and 15. Next, let's use a print to display our geometric mean answer. Let's go ahead and select our code and run it. And you can see over here in the console, we get an answer of 9.0856. And you can see this is slightly different from what the answer would be if you use the arithmetic mean. So if we did an arithmetic mean, which would just simply be 5 plus 10 plus 15 divided by 3, you can see we get 10, okay? So now let's go ahead and move on to how you would calculate the geometric mean rate of return. Now just a quick note, you can use the scipy.stats mstats geometric mean to calculate the geometric mean rate of return. You would just have to add one to all of your numbers and then at the end subtract one. But that probably isn't the best way to do it if you have a large set of numbers you want to enter in. So instead of using the geometric mean function from the SciPy module, we're gonna go ahead and create a function. But before we create our function, let's review the formula for the geometric mean and the geometric mean rate of return. So if you recall, the formula for the geometric mean is simply the nth root of the product of n numbers. The formula for the geometric mean rate of return is slightly different, and let's show you an example of that now. Okay, so here we have an example of the formula for the geometric mean rate of return, and these are just two different versions of the same formula, but basically this is the nth root of the product of n numbers, and since the normal geometric mean does not allow for negative numbers, to get around that, one thing we can do is add one to each of the numbers. So here we have r sub one, which is just a number plus one. Then we multiply that by the next number, r sub two plus one, and so on, for however many numbers you have. And then at the end, you subtract one. Now this formula here, like we mentioned, is the same thing. The only difference is to get the nth root, instead of using this root symbol here, we take the product to the power of one divided by however many numbers are in your product and then subtract one, okay? So just remember that the square root of some number is the same as that number to the one half power. Or the cube root of some number is the same as that number to the power of one third. Okay, so let's go back to our code. 
And what we're going to do here is go ahead and type out the function, and then we'll go over it. Okay, so here we have our geometric mean rate of return function. We use def to define our function. We gave the function the name of geo mean return. Then inside the round brackets, we use a star. And we use the star to allow us to take any number of arguments we want to take. Or you could refer to that as taking n number of arguments. Then we created four variables. The PPRR variable is the per period return relative, and that's just simply when you add one to the numbers. And this will allow you to put in negative numbers, because as we saw in the example here, there are times when you will have a negative return, because in the first year we got a return of 100%, but then in the second year we lost 50%. Then we created a product variable. We set that equal to one, and we set that equal to one because this is going to allow us to create a variable to hold the answer for all the numbers multiplied together, or the product. And we set that to one because if you set it to zero, zero times anything is zero. So we went ahead and set that equal to one to start. Then we created two variables to hold the answers in two different forms. This answer variable here will hold the answer in decimal form, and then this percent return will hold the answer as a percent, okay? Then we created a for loop to loop through all of the arguments of the function, or the n numbers. Then to create our per period return relative values, we take each of the numbers that the for loop will iterate through, which is i, and add one. Next, to get our product, or all of the numbers multiplied together, we use this shortcut syntax here, and this will hold the product of all of the per period return relative values. And the reason we want to do this is recall that the geometric mean is the nth root of the product of n numbers, okay? So we have our product, then we need to get the nth root, So then the next thing we want to do is use our answer variable, and this is where we get the nth root of the product. So as you recall, if you take the product to the power of some number, it's the same as taking the nth root. So in this case, we are going to take the product, we use the double star sign, which is the same as taking it to the power or to the exponent. Then in the round brackets, we just take one divided by the count of n numbers, and that will be determined by however many numbers we put into our function when we call it. And then at the end, we subtract one. Okay, so that will give us our answer in decimal form. Then this next variable is simply the answer in percent form, and we just take the answer in decimal form multiplied by 100. And finally, we use our return to return a string with the answers in decimal form and percent form. So we use our curly brackets as placeholders here. So this answer here will go into this set of curly brackets, and then the percent answer here will go into this set of curly brackets. And we did go ahead and round our percent to four decimal places. Okay, so let's go ahead and run our code. And now let's call our function and test it out. Okay, so for this first example, let's just do something real easy and let's refer back to our example when we started and let's put in what's equivalent to 100 percent and a negative 50 percent and as we mentioned earlier when you use the arithmetic mean you get 25 percent which we know is not correct we know that since we started with a thousand dollars and we ended with a thousand dollars that our actual percent return was zero 
So let's use the geo mean return function and we want to put these arguments in as decimals. So we want to put them in as the decimal equivalent of the percentage. So that would be one for 100% and then negative 0.50 for negative 50%. Now if we've set this up correctly, when we hit return, we should get back zero. And we do, we're good to go. Now let's go over a few more examples. So let's call our function. And in this case, we want to go ahead and put in 80%, 16.6 repeating percent, and 42.8571%. Okay, and we get back 44.2249. I went ahead and tried to check all these answers ahead of time to make sure they were correct, and that looks correct. Let's go over another example, and in this case, let's put in 90%, 10%, 20%, 30%, and negative 90%. For this one, we should get back negative 20%, give or take, and we do, we're good to go. Let's go over a couple more examples. So for this one, let's put in 20%, 10%, and negative 5%. So for this one, we should get back about 7.84%. And if you go ahead and round that up, that's what we get. 7.8, round that three up to a four. That looks good. Now let's just go over one more example. For this one, we wanna put in 20%, 6%, and 1%. Now for this one, we should get back about 8.71%. And that's what we get. We're good to go. Okay, so that's all we have for this Python tutorial on the geometric mean and the geometric mean rate of return. We will be doing many more Python tutorials in the near future. Join us for those, and we'll see you next time.